Hi everyone. Today we are going to jump right into a trend around the state to establish right of recall policies that dictate how some businesses must manage their own rehiring and hiring all in the face of the pandemic. At the outset of the crisis, restaurants statewide were shuttered by government order, unlike other economic sectors. And soon after, the general hospitality industry also came to a screeching halt. Massive layoffs and furloughs ensued. Local lawmakers reacted, trying to protect jobs in some of the industries hardest hit by the economic fallout. Those reactions, however, often come with unintended consequences that, in reality, prevent or hinder the quick rehiring of employees. Team members and staff in the restaurant community are like family in many cases, and most operators want to hire that same staff when they can and as quickly as possible. However, the right of recall effort initially started in the city of Los Angeles with a proposal that applied to all businesses. It would have forced restaurants to rehire staff based on seniority rather than the need for a specific job function and required a 10-day time period for an individual to decide if they wanted the job or not. 10 days? Let's think about this for a moment. If there are four positions open, it can potentially take over a month just to hire those four individuals at a time when restaurants are struggling to survive and must be nimble. The CRA opposed this proposal from the start. Thankfully, the city of Los Angeles ended up with a right of recall ordinance that did not include all restaurants citywide and shortened the response time frame for prospective rehires. The CRA's work to avoid a citywide application of this proposal helped shape the template for other local governments to enact similar right of recall policies in Los Angeles County and the cities of Long Beach, San Francisco, Oakland, Pasadena, and most recently, San Diego. And those new policies do not apply to the restaurant community at large. Of course, what happens locally often drives statewide policy efforts. These local narrowing efforts helped limit the scope of what became Assembly Bill 3216, which applied the restrictive right of recall provisions to places like airports, convention centers, and hotels, and anyone leasing space within those facilities throughout the state. Again, while narrowed, AB 3216 still created obstacles to the swift rehiring of restaurant team members in those locations and was strongly opposed by the CRA. Governor Newsom vetoed the measure, indicating that the hospitality industry and its employees have been hit hard by the economic impacts of the pandemic and that the requirements of this bill place too onerous a burden on employers navigating these tough challenges. I'm Sabrina, and I'll see you here next week.